I need a haircut. Lately, my computer has been really noisy and it irritates me when I'm doing work. If I learn something like SolidWorks, it will just hiss at me and that's really pissing me off. So I think it's time that I design something useful for once with the dodgy engineer. project is to create a noiseless computer cooling system and I'm going to do that with Peltier devices. A Peltier device works like a heat pump. A current is passed through semiconductor junctions and through some magic a temperature difference is created between the top and bottom surface. By putting my computer in contact with the cold face, hopefully heat can be dissipated. Being a fairly normal person, I don't just have Peltier devices lying around, so I'm going to have to order them from the internet along with all the drivers and necessary components to build this cooling system. This is a motor driver. And essentially what it does is allows me to interface the Peltier device with my Arduino. So a pulse width modulated signal can be supplied here and that will allow a high current to flow from a LiPo battery into the Peltier device. The design of this board is actually so simple I did consider making it myself because essentially all it is is uh, two MOSFETs and some resistors. Um, the reason why I didn't make it myself is because A, that's a lot of effort and B, this was a lot cheaper. The biggest problem with using this is I have to solder the pins and I have no idea how to solder. So please, please, please don't judge me. This is a near perfect demonstration of how not to solder. This is a test to see whether my soldered connections are actually connected properly. So when I reset this board, what should happen is a little light should come on here for two seconds. Woo! F yes! For this test, I've hooked up a 12 volt LiPo battery to the driver circuit and a motor. So hopefully this motor will spin for three seconds when I reset the board. I currently have my door and windows open because I just smoked out this motor doing a test. It's unfortunate, but you know, that's why we do tests. There are a bunch of ways that I can measure the temperature of my laptop. Um, I could use a DHT11 uh, module like this, however this doesn't make good uh, surface contact with the laptop so it's useless. Um, what I have set up here at the moment is a thermistor and resistor combination and I'm measuring the potential difference across them. So at the moment it's showing a value of 500 out of 1024, um, but if I take this off the computer Hopefully, you should see the value starts to rise. So here's the wiring of the final sensor array. <laughs> sensor array. <laughs> it's a thermistor for f**k's sake. This is what I'm going to be using to cool my laptop. It's a Peltier cooling device with a heatsink stuck on the top. I'm about to apply some thermal paste to the Peltier cooler so that there's a good conducting interface between the cooler and the sheet metal. I have no idea how much to apply, so... Now 
now I'm going to put some hot glue around the cooler just so I can make sure that it stays in place. I've just added these four heat sinks to each corner so that they can act like supports. And then I cut this piece of foam that can just sit on top like that to make this a compact, nice, neat device. A potential issue with using foam board here is it's quite insulating. So it may reduce the amount of heat that I can transfer away from the plate. Now I need to work out a good place to put the thermistor because if I put it too close to the Peltier cooler, it will be too cool and this, you know, it won't work. The whole system won't work because that will come on and then it will just break. Um, so I was thinking about putting it either here or here. Um, but really what I need to do is look at my laptop and try and identify hotspots. Hmm, doesn't look too dodgy. To try and get this to work, I've added a container full of water, hot water, onto the plate so that I can simulate a hot temperature without kind of covering everything up with my computer. As I ran this experiment, the required cooling value rose, which essentially means that the aluminium sheet was getting hotter rather than colder. Clearly this doesn't work very well. The heatsink is too hot to touch and clearly the heat's not going anywhere. It's just staying here and that's heating up the plate rather than cooling it. I think anyone with a basic understanding of thermodynamics could tell you that this wouldn't work. And I did realise this before I started making it. However, I'd already ordered the components, so I thought I might as well try it out just on the off chance. Um, the reason why it doesn't work is because this heatsink can't dissipate the heat from the hot side of the Peltier device efficiently. Um, so normally in a computer you'd use a liquid cooling system or a fan to blow over this heatsink to remove the heat by convection. However, no, that's not happening here and it's on the underside of the laptop, so nothing would work. If you have any suggestions as to how to do this noiselessly, i.e. how to get air to move over this without making a noise that's louder than my laptop fan at the moment, then please, please leave it in the comments. I want to know, like, <laughs> I genuinely want to solve this problem. So yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe. Mm -hmm.